Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is September. And it's what several of the prophecies and several of the, I guess you'd say, pundits, the people that are calculating out there, say is coming in September. September, war, food shortage, and a down dollar. September, they say, we're going to see war. Now, I do not know if that's accurate. I do know that a war is coming. I don't want it to be September, which is, by the way, while we're having our solemn September assembly coming up September the 24th, go to prophecyclub.com, find out all about it, join us. Because if we don't pray, we're in trouble. I'm talking about as a nation. We're in really, really, really big trouble if we don't pray. So go to prophecyclub.com, join our solemn September assembly virtual on Zoom. Anyway, topic September, war, food shortage, dollar down. This comes to us from HaltonRadioShow.com. This is only part of a long article. He says, in September, it will be known World War III has officially started. I don't know that I necessarily agree with him. Part of that I do, because actually I believe that World War III started on February the 22nd of 2022 when Russia invaded Ukraine, because that is the Russian bear now on his rampage, and he will not stop. He'll get three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and you'll not stop until Armageddon. So, World War III has really already started. Anyway, he goes on to say, once the realization has been made by the masses that World War III has started, the bubble, he's talking about financial bubble, the financial bubble will finally pop. Selling will be as intense, if not more so, than March of 2020. We will see two to 3,000 point down days in the Dow. The market will crater. Housing will crash. Now, hang on, hang on. We've heard a lot of prophecies that this is coming. There's no question it's coming. The only question is if it's coming in September. As you record, or you recall in yesterday's program, or maybe day before, I reread Dana Coverstone's prophecy. That was back in like June of 2020, where he was specifically told what was going to come in September except part of that prophecy said that there would be a big revival. Well, as part of that prophecy, since that part hasn't come to pass, I don't think that the whole thing has come to pass yet. Meaning, I think that if you go back and watch that, prophecyclub.com, you can see that there is a high probability that something big is coming in September. Now, me being a watchman, I'm not going to sit here and say that he's right on all of this, but I'm a watchman, and it's my job to warn you if I see a sword coming, Ezekiel 33, 6. So let's be warned. He says the market's going to crater. Housing will crash. Rates will spike. The USD dollar will leap towards 120 USDX. The Dow will crater down 18 to 21,000. Housing will crash roughly 25%. Commodities will be crushed. And it sounds like the end of the world. I don't know if it's going to be that bad, and I don't know if it's going to come in September, but I do believe that something is coming, and I do believe we better be prepared. He says, I suspect that this massive collapse is three to four weeks away, the second we cross over into fall. The Chinese are going to make their move, and he think he's talking about Taiwan. In the face of this asset collapse and realization, World War III has started, the Fed will be forced to do the only thing it can, with the intense dollar strength and high yields, World War III will bring the Fed will reverse course again, and the dollars created will be in an even larger amount than ever before. Yields will be driven lower again as well. But what makes it worse this time is the gas and diesel will be needed for the war. Part of this I don't necessarily agree with, But part of it we know is coming. This is no big surprise. We've talked about this for a long time. Question is whether it's coming in September, whether it's coming this bad, but there's more. So this guy was on Greg Hunter. Headline, era of fake money is gone. This Egon Von Garris is supposedly a financial expert. And he says, financial and precious metals expert Egon Von Garris stores gold for clients at the biggest private gold vault in the world, buried deep in the Swiss Alps. No. You remember, we've talked about Moloch and ball worshipers. Remember when uh, Moses came down off the mountain, Mount Sinai, and he had uh, the two Ten Commandments in his hand. He looked down, he saw that they were worshiping a calf, 
a golden calf. Well, the name of that calf is Moloch. And in later chapters, it also calls it Baal, B-A-A-L, Baal. This is a religion that believes in killing people. They believe in child sacrifice, eating humans, drinking their blood. It's the worst of the worst of the worst, worst, worst. And they primarily came out of Ukraine, but their biggest home office right now is Switzerland. So in my opinion, as soon as he says that he will store my gold in the deep underground of the Swiss Alps, I would walk away. No, I would run away. I would not have anything to do with this guy or anything he's doing. Anything to do with Swiss. I would not store a pair of shoes in Swiss Alps or anything to do with Switzerland because this is the home of the Moloch and ball worshipers. He goes on to say EBG is a former Swiss banker. Okay, that's uh, two big red flags right there. I'd have nothing to do with it. Now, I'm not trying to beat up on him, and I do not know that he's a bad guy. Let me make sure. And I'm not saying anything bad about him or the Swiss or the Alps. I do not know that. But I'm telling you my personal opinion, I just I, I wouldn't do it simply because of the reputation it has. He goes on to say he's a former Swiss banker and financial expert that says massive money printing and huge amounts of unpayable debt will lead to a monster financial meltdown soon. Now he has my attention. Now I'm listening to him because, see, we know this is coming. Since we also know the Molochs are primarily headquartered out of Switzerland, specifically Geneva. We know that from lots of sources. And then this guy is now speaking out of that, and he is saying that they're about to start printing massive amounts of phony money, huge amounts of unpayable debt. Okay, these are the guys <laughs> that print it. These are the guys that are the big problems. So basically, he is warning us what the bad guys are about to do. Now, I'm listening. Four, I wouldn't have anything to do with this guy. But this case, I'm saying, okay, you have my attention. Say on. He says, I did forecast that the stock market is going to fall at this particular point. He says, a thousand, po a thousand point drop on the Dow last Friday came right on cue. Fundamentally, the markets should have crashed a long time ago. It appears clear to me that we're going to see a 30 percent. All right. When I read that, I went, OK. All right. You have my attention because Maurice Scalar was specifically told, what, 14, 15 years ago, that when the dollar falls, it's not going to fall gradually. OK. It falls like overnight. The first chunk is from down to 30 percent. Then it falls to 50 percent to 66 percent, says Dana Coverstone. Finally, uh, Daniel Davis says it's zero. And the other guy says it's worthless as leaves blowing in the wind. So there's going to come a time when Daniel Davis saw that they, the dollar's worthless. So when he says you're going to see 30 percent fall, <laughs> Okay, that lines up with prophecies. Now you have my attention. It appears clear to me if we're going to see a 30% or so fall in the markets in the next two to three months, in the next one to two months, excuse me, that's the first fall. But that's just the beginning. Now he has my attention even more. Markets will fall in real terms by 90% to 95% in the coming years. Well, we know actually it's going to go to zero in the coming years. That's not going to happen overnight, but if it does happen overnight, then all bets are off and there will be total disaster. The world is going to shut down. Okay, why? Because if it's not broken, don't fix it. If the old world order is working, why bring in a new world order? So this is what they're doing. This is, when it comes out of Switzerland, these are the guys that are pushing for a world government. These are the guys that want to put their man, the Antichrist, on the throne. Sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So when they say this, I set up and listen. Then there should be some extra money printing and people will be optimistic for a while. Boy, doesn't that sound like the WEF, the World Economic Forum? Optimistic for a while. There's no money anymore because the money that is printed will make zero difference. There will be nothing will drive the world forward. All the decisions on top with energy, climate change, oh, climate change. Uh, it's on my heart to talk about that big time, and I'm going to bring you some shocking things about climate change. Climate change, sanctions, etc., will mean it all will crash a lot faster. The world is going to see a collapse that it has never seen before in history. Boy, I agree with that. Why? Because we're coming into the tribulation. We're coming into the last days. I don't know when, but I'm looking for it. 
collapse is never seen before in history. and There is absolutely no remedy for that. They're not going to be able to do anything. Everybody who is not in power is going to be promising something that they can't deliver. When they can get in power, they would be thrown out because they couldn't deliver. So the era of Shangri-La and money printing and saving the world by fake money, that era is totally gone. He goes on to say, I'm not a prophet of doom and gloom, but it may sound like it. I'm just someone who looks at the risk. This is why I got into gold 20 years ago. Gold was the best solution to risk situation in the financial world. Now, I'm going to disagree with that because Shane Warren was told by the audible voice of God. We talked about He came and spoke to Prophecy Club in 2010. He made a DVD. You can watch it instantly at watchprophecyclub.com. You can go there right now and watch it. And in that, he said he heard the audible voice of God say, silver is going to skyrocket far more than gold. Now, I believe I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take the advice of someone that they, they say that they, and he had a, a very powerful vision, and no one, no one questions it. He had a very powerful vision, and part of it was silver is going to skyrocket far more than gold. So he says, gold was the best solution to risk situation in the financial world. It was. But I believe silver is better, better for the money. We almost had a collapse in 2008, and it was patched up temporarily. This time, they won't succeed, though. We have a situation nobody can solve. Initially, there will be printing money, but adding new debt to old debt is not a good solution to the problem. I don't think there will be any orderly reset at all. At some point, there will be an implosion of the system. There has to be. You have to remember that when the debt collapses, all the assets that were supported by this debt will collapse. You will have an implosion of values, I expect, 90% plus. Okay, what did he just say? He just said that the dollar is going to die. And that, I mean, Daniel Davis spoke on that, what, back in 2012? It called, I saw the dollar die. It's a DVD. Again, you can watch that instantly at watchprophecyclub.com. In closing, he said, gold never goes up in price. Gold maintains stable purchasing power, and that's why it's such a wonderful commodity and asset. Well, I agree it is wonderful, but I also believe in Shane Warren. I believe that silver is a better asset, which, by the way, I would send you to cornerstoneassetmetals.com. Cornerstoneassetmetals.com, good friend of mine, Christian, uh, soul winner, wants to see the bread cast upon the water. He wants to see the gospel go out to the world. And I suggest if you're thinking about getting gold and silver, give them a call. You don't have to buy it immediately. Call. I mean, you got to set up an account and kind of get things going. Give them a call. Cornerstoneassetmetals.com and mention Prophecy Club when you call. That's who I'd send you to. It took me about 20 minutes to make these two loaves in my kitchen at an ingredient cost of about $12 each. In a time of food shortage and emergency, I'm going to cut each one of these loaves into 14 slices. Eat a slice in the morning and the afternoon, I'll be satisfied. You want long-term food storage? You want to cut your food costs? Here it is. Eat two whole wheat bread slices daily for about a year for about $800 each. JosephKitchen.com's wheat berries come in a nitrogen-infused 7-gallon pail for long-term storage. Most other emergency food costs about $10,000 per person per year. That's right, about $10,000 per person per year. But at Joseph Kitchen, you could do it for about $1,000 per person per year. Now, to get started at josephkitchen.com, you're going to need a machines package. That's going to give you the grinder, the bread machine, the knife slicer, all you need to make bread, and then you decide how much food you want to get. You want food six people one year, four people one year, two people one year, or just one person for a year, all at josephskitchen.com. About $1,000 per person per year at josephskitchen.com. Use the promo code Prophecy Club. Get you a $50 discount. josephskitchen.com, promo code Prophecy Club for a $50 discount on your first order. Now, let's go on. Next thing we got to talk about is food shortage. Gateway Pundit says another one. Poultry processing plant catches fire in Montebello, California. I know what you're saying. Didn't you just talk about this? Yes, I did. Didn't you just talk about this a couple of weeks ago? Yes, I did. Didn't you just talk about this three weeks ago? Yes, I did. Didn't you just talk about this about four weeks ago? Yes, I did. Why? Because in the last 12 months, there's been over 110 food processing plants destroyed in America. 
Oh, and how many arrests do you think were made? Zero. And I haven't researched that all out, but I've also asked people to do that research. I'm asking you right now. So far, no one has found anyone has been arrested. How do you see 110 food distribution, food manufacturing, cattle, chickens, turkeys, all kinds of... How do you see that and no one is arrested? The answer is scalar wave. Let's go on now. Poultry processing plant catches fire. A poultry processing plant in Montebello, California, has caught fire on Sunday. Shortly after 4 p.m. on Sunday. Okay, this is in broad daylight. How do you make a fire? I mean, it certainly couldn't be arson, but it is arson. I mean, here's the point I want to make. The cause of the fire is unknown. I'm telling you it's scalar wave. What's scalar wave? In case you don't know that, it... It, it doesn't go A, B, C, D like radar or light. It, it, it is interdimensional. It goes A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And it can destroy anything in the air, on the land, onto the sea, uh, on the sea, under the sea, any place on the globe, anytime it wants to. It can make large areas of the atmosphere super hot or super cold. And by the way, it doesn't take much energy to do it. And it can cause tornadoes, hurricanes, droughts, floods, Kind of like we're seeing right now. Now let's go to the next one. End of the American dream. Has someone tried to tell us something? We are being hit by unprecedented drought and unprecedented flooding at the same time. The only way you can have this, this is not climate control or, or, or what do they say? Global warming. This is not uh, the, the climate issue. This is not that. What it is is CERN and scale wave. It's high technology. They are causing the climate change. They're causing the climate change. And they're doing it with high technology. And it's hard to prove. Can you prove it? No, I can't prove it. But for lots of reasons, I believe it. And I think I've had it confirmed. Let's go on, though. Over the past few months, I've written an article after article of the droughts that are currently witness witnessing all over the planet. Europe is experiencing the worst drought that has gone through in the last 500 years. And that's what we're hearing. We're hearing of these are one, one in 1,000 year floods or one in 1,000 year droughts. 500 years and the rivers are getting so low that hunger stones are now being revealed for the first time in centuries. You ever heard of a hunger stone? I never heard of a hunger stone. I had to do some research. So I looked up hunger stone. Here's what I found. In other words, in olden times, when the lakes or the streams got down low, where no one had enough water to grow the crops and things like that, people began to put out warnings. This is a hunger stone. Now, if you look, the writing is upside down because the people would come up on the rock and they would bend over and they would be, make big marks in the rock and they were carving. Now, if you look, one says 1934 and it has a mark below it. Another one says 1911 meaning that the water has not been down this low since 1911, or it may be saying 1971, it's hard to say, or 1934. The point is, they're in a drought. And I looked up, and I started to show you the page, but there's a lot of pictures up where they call them hunger stones. Now let's go back to the article. On this front, too, Europe's rivers are drying up. Bleak omens, the receding waters in parts of Central Europe, Europe have been revealed Hunger stones, markers placed along riverbeds and locals, centuries prior left as guides to earlier droughts. One stone that emerged out of the LB read, when this goes under, life will become more colorful again. Hunger stones. I never heard of it. It goes on to say the western half of the nation is suffering through the worst multi-year mega drought that the region has experienced in 1,200 years. Nearly three-quarters of California is an extreme or exceptional drought, Considered worse than severe, according to U.S. Drought Monitor. It's so bad that scientists say the ongoing drought in the western United States marks the region's driest 22-year stretch in more than 1,200 years. California wells are going dry. Farmers are either paying a premium for water, letting up the fields set empty. Water export from Colorado River may come to a halt. Not to be outdone, China is currently being, same article by the way, China is currently being hit by the worst drought that it has seen in all of recorded history. China is in the grips of its worst drought on record. But did you know that at the same time we're also witnessing some of the worst flooding in modern history? 
Okay, so how do you have a flood here and a drought here at the same time? How do you have a drought here and a flood here at the same time? The answer is it's mankind using high technology, scalar wave, things like that, that are actually causing the climate crisis. So I'm going to have to say climate crisis, there is a climate crisis, but it's not because the earth is growing too old or it's not the earth problem. It's men's problem, people in high places with high technology destroying the earth. Remember, Revelation says, and I will destroy them which destroyeth the earth. Let's go on. If you'll go to Watch Prophecy Club, Watch Prophecy Club, it'll look like this. I'm going to send you someplace. I want to be able to get you informed on Scalar Wave. And we've had some other programs, but right now I just want to send you to watch this one. When you go to WatchProphecyClub.com, the website looks like this. Then you click and you do a search for Russia's secret weapon right here in the corner, okay? It's going to pull up this one, Russia's Secret Weapon to Defeat America by Bill Sneblin. I didn't look up how long ago he made this. I know it was like 10, 12, maybe 15 years ago. And he explains to you about Scaly Wave. You want to see this DVD. Go there. You can watch it right now, $20 a month or $200 a year. You can watch like 300 DVDs for like 20 bucks a month. It's the cheapest thing on the market. The best thing going, we used to ask $30 for each one of these DVDs. Now you can watch 300 of them for 20 bucks a month. It's practically free. WatchProphecyClub.com. WatchProphecyClub.com. Now let's go on. Still in the same article. One third of Pakistan is being completely surrounded by historic flooding. Devastating flash floods have washed away roads, homes, crops, leaving a trail of deadly havoc in Pakistan. And it's not just Pakistan. It's not just America. It's all around the globe. They are saying, well, this is the, the climate change that's going on. No, it's not. It's evil high technology that you're using trying to bring in a new world order, a world government to put the Antichrist on the throne. That's the truth. It's all one big ocean. There's no dry land to pump the water to. It's all flood. Sudan is in the midst of another round of severe floods, drought, whole villages submerged, declared a state of emergency. Another U.S. food processing plant. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't you cover this? I covered another one. I can back up and show you. This is a different article. We are getting hit by a food processing plant being, we're, four, of, four to six of them are being taken out every month now. Another U.S. food processing plant catches fire. Add to this growing list. It says uh, it was an accidental fire. This time it was at a poultry processing plant. And guess what? The fire's cause is unknown. Now, I put them apart there a little bit because I want to let you see it's not the same one. The great unraveling is now upon us. It's all breaking down with stunning speed. I'm going to call it the tribulation, the great tribulation. That's the last, last seven years before Jesus returned. We are very close to that time. I do not know when. I do not know that it's going to be 2022. A lot of people think it is. The Western world is breaking down with stunning speed as all the lies, delusions, corruption, and fake fiat money printing has reached a tipping point of collapse. Nothing works anymore. The governments of the world are criminal cartels that are deliberately dismantling food and energy sources necessary to keep half the human population alive. This coming winter, Europeans are going to starve and freeze to death in record numbers that harken back to the dark ages, pre-electricity, and pre-fossil fuels. There are no fossil fuels. It's crude oil. North Americans won't be spared as rolling blackouts and food scarcity will dramatically worsen in the coming months. Food, fertility, energy, transportation, supply chains are all being taken down in a controlled demol demolition of the Western world. And taking, it's, by the way, it's not just the Western world. It's especially America, but it's around the globe. Why? Because the Antichrist doesn't just want to get all the people in America to take the mark. He wants everybody in the globe to take the mark. That's where they're going. And taking his place will be the rising BRICS nations, or Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. That's short for BRICS. And more to join soon. That control most of the world's commodities, natural gas, oil, fertilizer, and gold. Western governments are waging genocidal wars against their own people. Informed Americans are fleeing U.S. cities, U.S. cities, 
as fully weaponized into lawless crime cartel that terrorized America's conservatives. And I can't say these next few words, but they continue to push deadly decisions. I'll just say it that way. You'll have to read it. Which, you know, rig, uh, I can't say that word either, by censoring, uh, probably better just go on. You're going to have to read this. Some of the, if I say this, it gets me in trouble. Leslie Johnson had a prophecy back in 2011. She says, the Lord says there's going to be something put into the water supply in many cities of the nation. People will begin to get sick. Some will die. Get a good, reliable water filter. You will not be able to trust the tap water or the bottled water. You must get something to filter the water you are going to need. That's back in 2011. So if you want it, we suggest you go to prophecyclub.com. You click right here where it says Berkey's. This is what it looks like. Currently, all Berkey's are in stock. The one I have is this guy right here. It's the crown. It has eight filters. I recommend you get as much as you can afford and also recommend you get some extra filters. That's at prophecyclub.com. Also, I want to recommend you get my Watchman package. I haven't talked about this in a while, but I got them right here. In this Watchman's package, you get two of these two-foot by three-foot big charts. Okay, that's one chart. Let me show you the other chart here. And here's the other chart. So these great big charts, two-foot by three-foot charts. And they are uh, they're vinyl. They are very nice. Also, you get my handwritten book of Revelation. This is where I hand wrote out the book of Revelation all the way through it, all of the scriptures, and I memorized it. Now, all of this, this has all of my notes in it. Here, let me pick a page that has some notes. If you see out in the margin there, it has notes. What I think these scriptures are talking about. And then, last year, I did a School of the Watchmen. And it was like 18 hours, I think it was. It's on five DVDs. We're putting all that together with... Uh, five copies of my very powerful book, Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy. It's valued at $355 for a gift of $200. You get both charts, you get the five discs, you get my book and my book. <laughs> my book and my book. All for a gift of $200. Next is, I'll send you to empshield.com. If you use the promo word prophecy, you get a $50 discount. The whole point is when the electricity goes off or when some kind of a suitcase nuclear, nuclear device goes off, this is supposed to be able to stop that device from destroying every computer chip in your car. Because if every computer chip is destroyed in your car these days, you couldn't possibly replace them all. Throw the car away. So, empshield.com, promo code PROPHECY.